Hi everyone, Cindy Porter here with a quick art journal page for Art and Soul Studio. I began with a gessoed page in my A5 uh, Express It Miss Media journal um, and used some Marabou art crayons in flesh, terracotta, cocoa, light grey and silver. I watered the first layer down with a wet brush before drying it with a heat gun to blend off the uh, crayons and then applied stronger color blending just with my finger. I find that this uh, double layer technique gives much stronger color than uh, just using one or the other. So when I use these crayons I really love doing uh, two layers in this, in this fashion to get plenty of coverage. These crayons are great for creating backgrounds, I've found. They smooth off wonderfully. I then grabbed my stamp, one of my women's stamp from the Silhouetted Women, Dina Wakely Media Stamps, and used some black archival ink to stamp her onto the page. I'm using a wet brush, just wet with water, um, and paper towel to ghost out my figure. Another great technique I like to use. Makes everything stand out wonderfully well from a full background. I've then grabbed my Tim Holtz Ideology Type Lower Stamp Set um, and I'm using those to stamp up my title again using black archival ink to stamp them on. I really like these stamps. I haven't used them a lot. Uh, I haven't had them long. Um, but they're all individual letters, foam, so I can use paint with them as well as ink. And they are self-adhesive little letters, so they stick to my uh, stamping blocks. Really great little stamps. I was quite surprised at how good they are. Now I've moved on and after stamping my title um, I sprayed a layer of fixative spray before uh, grabbing out my Posca pen to write the rest of my title. Being don't judge my story by the chapter you walked in on. I really quite like this uh, little saying that I came across. I think it's very appropriate and goes very well with the uh, current Art and Soul Challenge, My Story Challenge. So um, that's why I've chosen the colours I have to also fit along with that mood board that they currently have going um, in May 2018. Feel free to go along to their Facebook page and um, enter yourself into the challenge uh, for the opportunity to win a $50 voucher um, from the store. I'm just continuing here to deepen up the colours around the uh, title and image I've put on and now I'm adding a few little butterflies from the Tim Holtz Stamp Anonymous set Urban Chic. I've decided to colour these little butterflies in using just some Distress Oxide in fossilised amber and I decided to colour in my Silhouette Woman also just with a paintbrush straight from the pad of that Distress Oxide. Now I am adding some little highlights to the wording and my title uh, just using a white Posca pen just going uh, along each of the individual letters to give that a nice little uh, highlight so that uh, the wording uh, jumps off the page and has a bit more of a, a 3D impression rather than staying uh, nice and flat. Um, doing it to the whole title including uh, the small handwritten portion at the bottom um, just to make the whole thing bounce off the page a bit more. You'll see I keep uh, taking the pen off to the side I'm just uh, recalibrating it uh, pressing up and down on the nib uh, to keep the ink flowing nicely for the whole of the procedure. Um, 
I'm finishing off the page here just with some more stamps from that Urban Chic uh, set uh, just to give the edges a little bit more detail and here you can see the whole uh, finished page in detail you can see those highlights on the letters and all of the detail that went into creating this quick little page I hope you enjoyed that uh, quick little tutorial uh, thank you for joining me and please consider giving this a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel uh, to get future videos. Thank you very much. Bye.